An artist is enclosed in a world of his own, often surrounded by many people, but in the end, he remains alone. So it is with the angels. Flights of angels, in which every angel is an individual, enfolding both a contradiction and a verification. Zami created all types of art, sculpture, carpets, calendars, medallions, oil painting, charcoal, watercolors, on papyrus, greeting cards, wedding invitations, Haggadot, and even illustrations of Hans Andersen. Zami showed a colourful multiculturalism in multi-territorial scenes. In addition to views of New York and Tel Aviv, he also added Avignon in colour, smell and the special aroma of the magic, the faraway French landscape of Provence in southern France. I'm glad that, in addition to the family, many more people will get to know of him, even more than we had imagined. Only after his death, did we realize how well known he was in the world. Over and over again, we are conscious of the love and support he received from different parts in the world, places we never imagined he had reached. We never realized how closely he had touched people. The spiritual legacy left by Zami caused the family to continue to collect his paintings, to exhibit them, and to spread the message throughout the world by, among others, a formal website dedicated to his works a website of a wondrous person who is no longer with us. Fortunately, we are creating and publishing new editions of lithographs and serographs, a hybrid combined technique, and those works are being released as we speak once again. And they also have on the back the signature of Svi Steinovitz on each example, the estate seal and the estate signature. If you take what Zemi achieves during his lifetime, I think that it puts Zemi as, 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 if not the top uh, Israeli artist uh, on the 20th century, certainly one of the top. Because again, look at what he has achieved in, in his life as an artist, uh, which is more than any other Israeli artist ever achieved. So I definitely uh, uh, put Zemi as, if not the top Israeli artist, among the top Israeli artists that ever lived. Zami's death was a hard blow because we were very close, a dear uncle. It's still an unimaginable shock. Zami wasn't a politician, he avoided friction. He would say, if you want to succeed, go ahead and succeed. I wish you would. If we all succeed, if you could paint like me, if you would devote yourself to these colors of which the world is full, if we all could stop to look at this flower, to smile at each other, to help each other, then the world would be a much better place. There's plenty of knowledge to share between us, and we could all gain from it. I keep looking at the paintings, and all the time I want to cry. Everything is him. Mother, don't worry. I'm going, but I'll be back, he told me. But now he's dead. I'm coming back. That's what he told me. I was dumbfounded. After his death, I created a website. I wanted to perpetuate his artistic work. 
I was amazed at receiving so many requests, phone calls, emails, faxes, from people who wish to get to know him and buy his works. It appears that his art is widely known and greatly loved. People connect with his work, with his optimism. I live in it. I live him through his paintings. This was not interesting in art. Or I don't make plans for now and for the next 20, 50 years or things that happen.